Welcome to the fun category of the best fucking natural wine club in the world. Thank you very much for subscribing, and if you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to check it out when you see these puppies, which could have been yours. What are we going to do next month? Well, you'll have to subscribe and find out. If you've got this box, lucky you, because you have Susicara Rosso 2020 by Frank Knarsen. Now, this is from Mount Etna in Sicily. It's primarily a grape called Norello Mascalese which is a, normally a very big, red, powerful grape. But here, Frank Emerson has made it in a lighter style and mixed in some other grapes as well, just to kind of give a little bit more uh, lightness. It's got a bit of a synthetic feel to it, which means it's playful and it's fun, and it's got notes of cranberries and kind of pomegranate going through, but still it has a volcanic minerality, which you should be able to sense just on that finish. On to white wines. We have Grüne Veltliner by Schüttel, who are in the Weinviertel region of Austria. Grüne is normally quite a high acid, sharp, refreshing drink, and this is no exception here. This is really nice, it's crisp, it's got lovely citrus tones underneath it. Schüttel could be considered somewhat of a new producer, actually. Uh, they've been making sparkling wine for some time, but it's the new generation who have come up and made things a lot more natural and really pushed time in the biodynamic aspect. Their wines are really fantastic value, and we really Onto an orange wine, we have here an orange Riesling, which is not available on morenaturalwine.com. This is for club members. So what is an orange wine? An orange wine, in a nutshell, is a white wine that has had its maceration with the skins, which is how red wine is made. Normally, white wine is made where you press the grapes and you use the juice to make your white wine. Here, the juice is then pressed, but you also use the skins, and that's what gives it this orange color and gives it a little bit of a tannic touch. This one here is very easy drinking. You're not gonna have any kind of harsh rounds in the mouth. It's just a fun, refreshing drink. Whilst it has a bottle cap, it's not a pet man. So serve it chilled and drink it like a still wine. We recommend it with some spicy food. Blau Frankish from Klaus Preisinger. When it's made to be drunk young, Blau Frankish, which is what this grape is, is a fun and fresh and fruity wine. This one by Klaus Preisinger is no exception. We really, really love it. It's particularly good with pizza. Onto a pet nap. We've chosen for you in this box the Neuter Petnap, which is actually from Finland. Well, I say that, but the grapes are from Austria. They're harvested and within 24 hours they're brought up to Finland where they're foot crushed and made into wine there. This one here has got a little bit of sweetness on the finish, which means it will pair really, really well with spicy food like Thai or Chinese or whatever you want that has a bit of a kick to it. We recently had it with some curry and it was fantastic. The fruit flavors and a little bit of sweetness on the finish balance out the chili heat, so we'd really recommend that with some spicy food, but it's so fun and light that really you could have it before dinner now as well. If you're wondering what a pet nat is, a pet nat is a wine that finishes its fermentation in the bottle, and because it finishes the fermentation in the bottle, that's what makes it naturally sparkling. So, this is the fun club for this month, our first month of the best fucking natural wine club in the world. We really hope you like it, and if you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to get on board now and see what's going to be in your box next month. Oh, and just a little reminder, you don't have to actually get the boxes every month. You can schedule them so you get them every other month. Pretty cool, right?